In a now deleted post, YouTuber H. Pearl Davis said that 16 year olds are more attractive than 26 year olds. The now deleted post appeared to be an extension of a June post from Davis suggesting women in their 30s were less attractive than women in their 20s. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amaomi aka Petit Diva and in this video we are discussing pick me females and misogynistic or alpha male or podcast guys now somebody asked the question why the pick me females are not being picked by the alpha male guys the podcast guys the misogynistic guys can someone explain to me why the pick me girls aren't like just naturally falling into the arms of these like whatever type podcast guys like the guys on the whatever podcast or guys like that like all these pick me broads out here with their nasal voices are not ending up with these dudes who clearly say they want a pick me girl and the pick me girls want a guy like this, right? Like you want, you want a, a guy who's an alpha male, right? Or at least pretends to be, uh, except maybe the issue is then that alpha male is going to make you give up all your fucking, uh, all your social notor like, like Pearl, everybody belongs in the kitchen except you, Pearl. You know what I mean? You meet an alpha male. You're going to stop doing social media. You know, you're going to quit going on talk shows and just stay home and bake fucking cookies. I fucking doubt it because, you know, I see no good reason for you and Brian Atlas to not fucking be together. I Cutest couple of six and a halves I ever saw. Why aren't you guys just making this thing happen? Maybe it's because you're all fucking full of shit and you don't believe your own. Like Brian wants to bang Instagram models and you want to have a career. We're all out here just telling ourselves that shame on you for being hot and shame on you for having a career and shame on you. No, 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 no. Put your money where your mouth is, Pearl. You better slide in Brian Atlas's DMs. And Brian, so help me God, if she doesn't have a ring on it, by the end of next week, I'm fucking, I don't know. I don't know. You're all full of shit. So basically, the guy was saying, why are the pick me females and the um, red pill or misogynistic podcast um all the alpha male guys not dating each other since they seem to agree on what um relationship and partnership and marriage is all about so why are they not dating each other um he even mentioned a particular person a particular female called pearl and he is seen in the tiktok world or in the social media world as the president of the pick me females so they're wondering why people have not uh, married her and if you don't know who she is or what she talks about here's some videos showing what she thinks and some of the things that she has said have you guys thought about the fact that i got 15 million views on a tweet talking about how younger women are more attractive than older women. And all of the older women were triggered in calling me a doomsday red pillar. Do you know how crazy that is? They used to have terms for this, an old maid, a leftover woman. It didn't matter how good you looked. If you hit a certain age, you were left over. And you know, you could say this was harsh, but at least it was honest can't even raise kids by yourself no we're more likely to infants than men they wouldn't get to be the queen of hr if they didn't have companies <laughs> to go be the hr police in how sad is that for us as a species but men are better at it men are the superior beings <sighs> sorry feminists i don't know what to tell you the point of this is we have lived in such delusion that we have a 35-year-old corporate lawyer who probably will not reproduce, feeling like she deserves Leonardo DiCaprio because we have been told since childhood that we are equal to men and we are not. In a now deleted post, YouTuber H. Pearl Davis said that 16-year-olds are more attractive than 26-year-olds. The now deleted post appeared to be an extension of a June post from Davis suggesting women in their 30s were less attractive than women in their 20s. Oh, boy, let's get controversial and address what Pearl has to say. And I think it is suffice, uh, suffice it to say, no, this statement is dramatically incorrect. Not only do most people, most men, not 
would would likely not prefer a 16 year old over a 26 year old. Uh, well, I, I just 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 that much. The data shows that um, we, we, we talked about this on IRL. There's more than just physical appearance. There's mental state. And uh, with the utmost respect to our nation's youth, I'm sorry, but 16 year olds are cringe. So Paul is someone who agrees a lot with what the red pill, the podcast guys are saying. She also seems to bring down or bash other women just to support the red pill guys. So people have been wondering why she has not been picked and why people like that are not dating or married to the alpha male or podcast guys. Any which way, someone tried to explain why the pick me girls are not being picked by the podcast, the red pill guys. Can someone explain to me why the pick me girls aren't like just naturally falling into the arms of these like whatever type podcast guys like the oh you mean all the toxic red pill guys that pick me girls cater to yeah they don't want them they don't want a woman who's already ready to wait hand and foot on them and give them everything they want at any time because that's not the person they're looking for they want an independent woman an independent woman who's much hotter than a pick me girl so they could break them down, manipulate them, gaslight them for years, and turn them in to something that they want to do. They want to destroy an independent woman to make them a pick-me girl. So if you want some proof, take Pearl Davis from Just Pearly Things. She is the queen of the pick -me's. Pearl is single, unmarried, childless, well over 25. And according to her, remember, these are all her words. If you're over 25 and don't already have all these things, you have no value catering to the very toxic men that she wants but will never want her back if a pick me like her is not going to get picked then other pick me's won't get picked now another guy who seemingly likes to talk about the traditional wife uh, or traditional female role now made a video explaining why pearl has not been picked by a male or has not been dated or married to a male so that she can become the traditional wife since she seemed to say the same thing that most of these podcast guys say. Do you know why Pearl is available? Because even though she says the right things that men resonate with, she's masculine as hell. Men like feminine women. Pearl is an advocate for what men want, but she's not what men want. Feminine women do not go online and sit on podcasts and argue with men all day long. <laughs> That is not what men want. Ideally, men would have someone that's very laid back, chill, feminine, you know, helps out where she can around the house and, you know, isn't like a pain in the ass. <laughs> and I know you guys are gonna be like, well, just hire a maid. Are you guys really saying that a woman's love can be replaced by a maid? Partnership in the home is desirable, where both people help out around the house. I've been kind of messing around a little bit on here with some of my satire and stuff, but Real talk, I believe both people should do both things around the home fully. Like, there's no reason not to. I can joke and say, yeah, I'll cook, you do the dishes. But even then, that's 50-50, you know? I mean, you could argue cooking is more effort. I'll forget, I was raised by a single mother. I was doing everything around the house. She taught me how to cook, how to clean, how to do dishes, how to do laundry. I'm just saying, I do all that stuff now for myself, no problem. But ideally, in a partnership, I would have health, help with those things. I'm not just going to take care of someone fully. I'm not going to pay for everything and take care of everything around the home. But back to Pearl. She definitely understands what men want. But she's just masculine as hell. She really, and, and everything that she does, she's very masculine. She will probably find someone that's great for her. But you guys are like, why not pick her? because we couldn't marry someone that's like that and argumentative and fighting. So he's saying that, well, even though she says everything that the guys want to hear, is too masculine for most guys because she's going on podcast interviews and she's doing back and forth, trying to explain Oh, that the red pig guys are saying the right thing and always trying to support them. So in trying to bash women, in trying to support the guys, she has become too masculine to be picked by guys. Anyway, Jay, people had a lot of things to say about his video and his reason for Pearl not being picked. 
Pearl is an advocate for what men want, but she's not what men want. You hear that, Pygmishas? Even if you advocate for what men want and do exactly what they tell you to, they're still not going to pick you. This is wild because if you were to go into the dictionary right now and look up Pygmisha, Pearl's image would be right there next to the definition. Yet they still saying they wouldn't even pick her. The head Pygmisha. If this is not proof that you should just focus on yourself and do what makes you happy and decenter men, then I don't know what is. How many other ways can we explain this to y'all? For what men want, but she's not what men want. Feminine women do not go online and... So I've seen this guy and Pearl and the whole cavalcade of folks on my FYP at various points. And I tend to scroll past them after a while because the bit, it's not new. I've seen every note of this before, right? I am an internet dinosaur. But here's the kicker. Even if we take it off the internet, even if we roll back that beautiful bean footage to Phyllis Shafley or Rebecca Latimer Felton or whoever, right? What you're gonna find over and over again is that the patriarchy spends its tokens, right? And we tend to talk about tokens in terms of people of color. But the white women who decide to become handmaids of the patriarchy, they get spent too. They get discarded as soon as they are no longer useful. And here's the kicker. The very men that they claim to be advocating for don't even believe the things that they've said. They just wanted to see how far she'd go. But really, deep down, they're going to go right ahead, as this guy is doing, and pivot to what is most advantageous for them what will protect their career and their future. But she set hers on fire. And for what? He doesn't want her, they don't want her. Being a token never serves you. Let that shit go. Do you know why Pearl is available? Because even though she says the right things that men resonate- The boys don't like her and the girls can't stand her. Guess nobody's opening that oyster. Do you know why Pearl is available? Because even though she says the right things that men resonate with. So y'all asked for more content about why pick me's like Pearl and Red Pillars will never have the traditional relationship that they claim that they want. I want to just claim that this is for educational purposes only. If you are in a relationship that you deem traditional and like if it doesn't apply, let it fly. This is specifically talking about pick me's like Pearl and Red Pill rhetoric. Any woman who ascribes to Red Pill rhetoric is a pick me. End of story. And if you find a woman who agrees with red pill content, she will be a pick me and, and your marriage will be that of a pick me. Red pill men don't pick the pick me's because they want a truly traditional woman. But a truly traditional woman recognizes that w other women are vital to the survival of not only her marriage, but also her entire life and happiness. Women who do not have other women in their lives will inevitably rely completely and solely on their husband for emotional fulfillment. And red pill men don't want that. They want a woman that is subservient to them without the responsibility of, of their emotions and all of that. Every niche demographic of dating has ways that they flag to each other that they're part of each other's community. Bashing women is not a flag that traditional women are looking for. Who is looking for bashing women is the pick me. Red pill rhetoric is only good at attracting pick me's and other red pill men. Pearl is an advocate for what men want, but she's not what men want. And what was that? That was the point being proven when we constantly say worry about yourself and stop caring about what these misogynistic men are saying. Because at the end of the day, the pick me's are never going to get picked. Why do you think they're always caping hard on the internet? The men are telling you everything that you need to hear. They're saying the quiet part out loud. It doesn't matter if you share their values. It doesn't matter if you parrot their ridiculous talking points. They don't want you. It's all about control. They want the women that don't like the same things that they do. They want to control women and put them in their place. When they see a woman that's a feminist who doesn't care that lives her life freely, it upsets them because they can't control those women. They know they can control pick me's and that's why they don't want them, all right? They're saying that you're masculine. They're saying that you're not feminine. They're saying that you're wrong for getting on a podcast and saying the things that they say themselves. So what's the point of being a pick me? All right, you open it up, Pearl's right there in the dictionary. It's her picture. 
She is a prime example of it and they will never pick her. And she looks like a fool. Even though she says the right things that men resonate with, she's masculine as hell. You know, Kevin Samuels, when he was alive, people would call on a show, he would rag on men and he would rag on women when they deserved it. But uh, the thing that he would always say that men wanted out of women was to be kind, compassionate, you know, cooperative was a big one and nurturing someone who's going to make a good home for them and be a good mother to their children. Now, Pearl herself does not give off that she has any of those particular qualities at all. And from the content that I've seen of her, she doesn't really stress those things. Like she had a conversation with Michael Knowles about marriage and he laid out a list of ways that men could be better for themselves and society and so on. And what should they do? And then when it came for her to explain how women could be better marriage material, the first thing she said was, I, I told you hit the treadmill. And I, I get that she's like, you know, engagement farming and, and people should lose weight. You know, uh, you want your spouse to be attractive and stuff, but everything to her in that conversation was women are terrible. Women are whores. Women are fat. And she didn't talk a lot about the moral stuff. And she does say a lot of things that men like, but I think the sort of men, many of the men who listen to her and like her content are, are people who like to hear some kind of victim culture. So they'll blame women and hate women. The other day, Pearl said that women were responsible for all the evil in the world, basically. And she mentioned abortion and other things like that. Didn't mention Alan Guttmacher and <laughs> the founders of NARAL and a bunch of other, you know, stuff and the roles that men have played in such things. But we could mention John Money and a bunch of creepy dudes doing a bunch of creepy stuff. Uh, but, you know, she engagement farms and and gives something to men who want to someone to blame. So I, I would encourage folks to um, not... Uh, if, if people are telling you too much of what you want to hear, you, you need to be a bit cautious. Um, same thing for women who listen to these male feminists like, you know, Modern Warrior, who didn't turn out to be such a great dude. You have to be careful about these folks who feed you too much of, of the meat you want to consume and don't offer you some constructive criticism that challenges you to do better and be better. <laughs> I saw that video too, and I almost hit the floor. Because what have we learned here today, ladies? You can spend years of your life defending men, defending their honor, put your ass on the line and make all women dislike you, go on talk show after talk show, podcast after podcast, make video after video, chastising women and defending men, telling women why men don't want them and what they gotta do to be picked only to find out that men won't pick you because they think doing all of that, putting your ass on the line for them and going on shows makes you masculine. The moral of this story is it will never pay to be a pick me and being a pick me will not make you above the scrutiny that the rest of us receive. I hope you learned the lesson from this. Pearl is an advocate for what men want but she's not what men want. Feminine. It's wild to me how the way y'all men will get on this app and act so intellectual as if it's deeper than just looks. But y'all don't want Pearl even though she's saying all the right things and she's speaking y'all language because she doesn't look pretty, because she's not the, what you would consider traditionally attractive. So y'all still shadow at the end of the day. It doesn't have anything to do with what we say or that if our mindsets are matching, it's about how you look at the end of the day. And you prove it every day on this app. Never ceases to amaze me. Why not pick her? Because we couldn't marry someone that's like that and argumentative and fighting. Imagine being the biggest female voice of the red pill movement. You say things like women shouldn't be allowed to divorce their husbands, that men should demand a DNA test at the delivery of their children. You say things like women shouldn't be allowed to vote. You say things like you shouldn't believe all assault victims. You, you do everything that you can to throw women under the bus for the sake of looking good in front of men. And those men go online and say stuff like this.
My theory on why pick me women rarely get picked is because they don't present themselves to be much of a challenge. A man likes to feel like he's changing a woman's mind, like he's talked her into something. And if the woman's already coming in saying, I, I'm submissive to you, you're better than me and all that, it's not as much fun. They'd rather take a woman who is independent and try to make that woman submissive. They'd rather take a woman who is clearly materialistic and make that woman split bills with them. But they need somebody like her so they can be able to say, no, 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 it's not just us. Look at this woman right here. She agrees with us. I heard somebody say once that men want a woman they can subjugate, but Pearl subjugates herself. And that's the truest thing I've ever heard. Now, a lot of women are saying that this is the reason why you need to put yourself first. This is the reason why you need to disenter men. With all the things that Pearl has done, bashing women left, right, center, saying some disturbing statements, and uh, trying to support what these guys have been saying, they still feel like she's too masculine for them. She doesn't fit the role of a traditional wife because they feel like she is going about doing things that a feminine woman or a traditional woman would not do. So going about bashing women, going about arguing, going about saying all sorts on podcasts, interviews and the rest is not traditional. A traditional or feminine woman is going to be in the house, taking care of the house, doing things, being quiet, doing a lot of um, things that um, is not contradictory to um, the red pill movement. I also agree with some of the women who said that um, why Pearl or the pygmies, the people that would say, oh, I will do this, I will do that, anything this, the guys are saying, they're saying, yes, I agree with it. Why a lot of them are not being picked is because they have already said that they will do what they want to do. So that thrill of being able to control or change the narrative of a female is not there for them so they would rather go for someone who is being a feminist who is independent who does not bother with all the things that they want them to bother with they would rather go for that person to try and change the person and when they've changed the person to do all that they say they want they feel like oh yes i've done that so they will feel like they have the power, they've um, established their masculine power on the female and they've been able to subdue her, they've been able to change the, because a pick me will not give them that um, bragging right, let me put it that way. And marrying or a pick me or dating a pick me and having her do all what they say is a traditional um, wife or a traditional partner. Um, would not give them that bragging rights that they would want to have in front of their friends. They'd be like, oh, um, imagine changing someone that is a feminist or in, uh, is independent and then the person now becomes a trad wife or trad uh, partner. The bragging rights and the pride that they will have with that person is not there with the pick me. So that control or the thrill of the control or the power that they um, want to be changing a woman um, or changing the opinion of a woman they will not get it with a pick me there's a video where we discussed an alpha dom a guy that says a dating coach talking about men not um, accepting women's rejection in the video he talked about how he was able to change a woman's uh, perception of him and everything and everything and she went to his house that 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 is what they want changing that power that um thrill that bragging right oh she she was like this like this like this but after i worked on her she became like this like this you see i'm a man i'm a masculine man blah 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 and blah that's probably why in my own opinion why they don't tend to go for the pick me. Um, it's like they have this animalistic instinct to chase and they like the thrill of the chase and being successful at the chase. So I feel like that's that's why they don't um don't tend to go towards the pick me's like 
Well, so that is my own personal opinion about this topic. I don't know what you guys think about this um, discussion on um, why pick me females are not dating um red pill guys podcast guys alpha male and misogynistic males um i i don't know what you guys think about um some of the reasons that have been suggested i don't know what you guys think about this whole topic i would love to hear your own thoughts about this whole discussion so please leave your comments in the comment section so that we can get this discussion popping now if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you are not yet subscribed and you like videos such as this please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button that says subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you're notified anytime i upload videos now with what i said Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.